Hey guys. It's 22 past 5. And it's the 12th of Jan. And um, because we are going for a game drive at Kruger National Park. I'm so tired. Like we literally slept at I think two. Was it two? Mm. At two AM and we were up at five AM. You know the vibes when I'm wearing this. What am I doing? I'm laying my edges. <laughs> and then sisters umish was a terrible rock. So we're currently getting ready because we have to be out of here by half past. So I'm gonna quickly get dressed and wake myself up a bit, and then I will see you guys later. Mina, in the deep. I don't know about other people there. I'm done. Mm -mm. I'm super tired. <laughs> we didn't sleep. I keep warm. I'm gonna take the hardest nap ever. So I will feel it too. <laughs> the girls are still asleep. The girls are not functioning because we only slept for three hours or even less. But anyway. Let me show you guys how I look. Hopefully, you can see because it's messy here. Yeah. Don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing like this short jumpsuit with like black. white shoes. <laughs> Where am I not going to, Amira? Are you in my business? Don't do that. Shut it, shut it, because it ends at. Because it ends at 12. And it might be hot by the time, so just in case. Are you ready? Of course. I'm okay. But I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go. I'm wearing this sweatshirt with a bra. And I normally don't wear it with a bra, but because I know I'm gonna have under boob sweat. I'm just being safe. So, the tatas are secure. <laughs> My edges, guys, even at five o'clock. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Who be this? This be me. I repeat. Take a bit. Take it. Oh my gosh, just know what I'm trying. That's why I'm acting like this. Anyway, we don't go, guys. I'll see you when I see you.
elephant. Oh, nice. Where is the elephant? Oh, he's yeah. not elephant, oh, he's, he's a rhino. rhino. Mm. There's oh. uh, some white rhino on the left hand side here. Yeah? Okay. And this oh. one is black. No, it's all. Mm. Oh. <laughs> rhino's got nothing to do with the color. Mm. Uh, the white comes from the from the Dutch, it's white, right, lip rhino. Mm. And they eat grass, where your, your black rhino is eating leaves and ticks mm. and, um, and twigs. Mm. A big male can weigh up to three tons. One in the back here looks like a male. Mm. And then uh, the one in front looks like a female with a calf. Mm. I got some zebra around here in Afrikaans, it's called a quokka. All these stripes are unique, there's no two zebras that look the same. The gestation period is 365 days. The whole year? 375 actually. Here yeah, the impala talking on the left hand side. Mm. <laughs> Normally a family group consists of males or younger females who must fight the territorial male or the father to approve and then he can take one of his daughters. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so and if, and if he's not good enough, uh, the father will chase him off. And sometimes the fight is so fierce that he actually kills the, the residential male of the family male. And then he takes over the whole group. Mm. I would like to get this culture of the zebra in order in my family. <laughs> <laughs> Not the hyena. The mm -hmm. hyena culture is better. <laughs> You're in a hyena culture, it's a, it's a matriarchal society where the lowest ranking female is still higher than the highest ranking male. Oh, mm. wow. Really? <laughs> oh. I always knew we were special. <laughs> <laughs>
society outside the Hirti where the dominant male or where the bull will dominate over the youngsters and so by doing that they'll keep uh, them from going into east or into much mm -hmm. so that they don't get sexually active mm -hmm. and then when a female is an estrus mm -hmm. she will invite the male back closer to the herd and they will mate one of the three sisters.
with his horns. Oh. Mm. So it's quite thick. Okay. It grows up straight. That's indication that's a male. Mm. 